Have you been following the keto diet religiously but suddenly the weight loss stops? You're not alone. Many people experience this frustrating plateau after initial success. Here's why your keto journey might have hit a plateau and how to get back on track. Understanding the reasons behind this stall is the first step to overcoming it. Imagine stepping on the scale, expecting to see progress, but instead, the numbers haven't budged. This can be incredibly disheartening, especially when you feel like you're doing everything right. It's frustrating and disheartening, isn't it? The good news is, there are ways to push past this plateau. Many of us have been there, and it's a common experience for those on the keto diet. You're not alone in this struggle. Hitting a plateau on the keto diet is very common and can be incredibly frustrating. But understanding why it happens can help you find a solution. Even the most experienced dieters face this challenge. It's not a sign of failure, but rather a signal that your body is adapting. You might be doing everything right, yet the scale refuses to move. This can be due to several factors that are often overlooked, but don't worry this isn't the end of your journey. With a few adjustments, you can get back on track. There are specific mistakes and overlooked factors that often lead to the stagnation you're experiencing. Identifying these can make a big difference. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what changes to make to see results again. We'll cover everything you need to know to break through your plateau. We'll dive into the hidden carbs, caloric intake issues, stress, sleep, electrolytes, and more. Each of these factors can play a significant role in your weight loss journey and how your body adapts over time. Understanding these elements can help you make the necessary adjustments. Stick around, because these insights could be the key to breaking through your plateau and achieving your weight loss goals. With the right knowledge and strategies, you can overcome this hurdle and continue on your path to success. Let's kick things off with one of the most common culprits, hidden carbs. These sneaky little devils can be found in places you'd least expect, making it challenging to maintain a low-carb or ketogenic diet. You might be thinking, I'm sticking to low-carb foods, so how am I still getting carbs? It's a frustrating situation many of us have faced. You diligently avoid bread, pasta, and sugary snacks, yet somehow those carbs still find a way into your diet. Well, the truth is, carbs can sneak into your diet in the most unexpected ways. They hide in foods that are often marketed as healthy or low-carb, catching you off guard. Sauces, drinks, and processed foods often contain hidden sugars and starches that can add up quickly, kicking you out of ketosis without you even realizing it. For instance, that barbecue sauce you love? It might be loaded with sugar. Take a look at some common foods that are keto pitfalls. These are foods that seem harmless but can derail your progress. For example, that seemingly innocent salad dressing? It might be loaded with sugar. Many store-bought dressings contain added sugars and preservatives that can spike your carb intake or that flavored coffee creamer you love, it could be packed with hidden carbs. Flavored creamers often contain sweeteners and additives that can add up quickly. Even processed meats like sausages can contain fillers that spike your carb intake. These fillers are often hidden under names like modified food starch or corn syrup solids. It's essential to read labels meticulously and be aware of what you're consuming. Many products have hidden carbs that aren't immediately obvious. Visualize this a person meticulously reading food labels, highlighting hidden carbs, this practice can help you become more aware of what you're putting into your body. This simple habit can make a significant difference. By being vigilant and informed, you can avoid these hidden carbs and stay on track with your diet. By identifying and eliminating these hidden carbs, you can get back into ketosis and start seeing progress again. It's all about making informed choices and being aware of what you're eating. Remember, Knowledge is power, and being aware of these sneaky carbs is the first step to overcoming your plateau. The more you know, the better equipped you'll be to make the right choices for your health and well-being. Planning your meals ahead of time and preparing your own food can also help you avoid hidden carbs. When you cook at home, you have full control over the ingredients, ensuring that no sneaky carbs make their way into your meals. With these strategies in place, you can feel more confident about your diet and enjoy the benefits of a low-carb lifestyle. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and you'll be well on your way to achieving your health goals. Next up, let's talk about caloric intake. One of the biggest misconceptions about keto is that you don't need to worry about calories as long as you're eating low-carb. While it's true that keto can help regulate your appetite and reduce cravings, calories still matter. Eating too much or too little can both prevent weight loss. Imagine this. 
You're enjoying all the delicious high-fat foods keto allows, but you're consuming more calories than your body needs. Even on keto, a caloric surplus can lead to weight gain or a plateau. On the flip side, eating too few calories can put your body into starvation mode, slowing down your metabolism, and making it harder to lose weight. Tracking your intake, even on keto, is crucial. Use a food diary or an app to monitor your daily calories and ensure you're hitting the right balance. Visualize someone logging their meals, paying close attention to portion sizes and caloric content. By finding that sweet spot in your caloric intake, you can reignite your weight loss journey and break through that frustrating plateau. Stress and sleep. Now let's dive into a factor that often gets overlooked, stress and sleep. You might be wondering, what do stress and sleep have to do with my keto diet? The answer is quite a lot. Stress and poor sleep can significantly impact your body's ability to stay in ketosis and lose weight. Picture this, a person tossing and turning in bed, unable to sleep. When you're stressed or sleep deprived, your body produces more cortisol, a hormone that can increase blood sugar levels and kick you out of ketosis. Additionally, lack of sleep can lead to increased cravings and poor food choices, further hindering your progress. Managing stress and prioritizing good sleep hygiene are essential for your keto success. Visualize someone practicing relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing or meditation, and establishing a bedtime routine to improve sleep quality. By reducing stress and getting adequate rest, you can support your body's ability to stay in ketosis and continue losing weight. Not enough electrolytes. Another critical factor to consider is your electrolyte balance. When you're on keto, your body excretes more electrolytes, such as sodium, potassium, and magnesium. If you don't replenish these essential minerals, you can experience fatigue, muscle cramps, and even weight loss stalls. Visualize this, a person feeling sluggish and weak, struggling to get through their day. This could be due to an electrolyte imbalance. Many people forget to maintain their sodium, potassium, and magnesium levels, which can affect their energy and weight loss. Adding a pinch of salt to your meals, eating potassium-rich foods like avocados, and taking a magnesium supplement can make a significant difference. Think of someone enjoying a keto-friendly meal rich in electrolytes, feeling energized and ready to tackle their day. By ensuring you get enough electrolytes, you can support your body's functions and keep your weight loss on track. Don't underestimate the power of these tiny but mighty minerals. Your body has adapted. Finally, let's talk about how your body can adapt over time. This adaptation is a fascinating process that showcases the body's incredible ability to adjust to new conditions and challenges. When you first start keto, the drastic reduction in carbs can lead to rapid weight loss. This initial phase is often referred to as the honeymoon period of the diet, where the results are most noticeable and encouraging. However, as your body adapts to this new way of eating, your progress might slow down. This is a common experience and can be quite frustrating for many. This doesn't mean keto isn't working, it just means your body has become more efficient at using fat for fuel. Your metabolism is adjusting and this efficiency is actually a positive sign of adaptation. Visualize this. A person hitting a plateau after months of successful weight loss. This plateau can feel like a roadblock, but it's important to understand that it's a natural part of the journey. It's disheartening but it's also a sign that your body is adapting. Your body is learning to maintain its new weight and energy balance which is crucial for long-term success. To shake things up, consider cycling carbs or trying intermittent fasting with keto. These strategies can help reignite your progress and keep your body from becoming too accustomed to a single routine. Carb cycling involves alternating between low-carb and higher-carb days, which can help reset your metabolism and break through the plateau. This method can provide your body with the variety it needs to continue losing weight. Imagine someone incorporating intermittent fasting into their routine, feeling a renewed sense of energy and seeing the scale move again. Intermittent fasting can help your body tap into fat stores more effectively. By making these adjustments, you can keep your body guessing and continue making progress. Trying new recipes and celebrating small milestones can also keep you motivated and engaged in your journey. Remember, plateaus are a natural part of any weight loss journey, but with the right strategies, you can overcome them. Stay patient, stay consistent, and keep pushing forward. Your body is capable of amazing things, and with perseverance, you will reach your goals. Overcoming Keto Plateaus Hitting a plateau on keto is normal, but can be addressed with the right adjustments. Remember, you're not alone in this journey, and many people face similar challenges. By being aware of hidden carbs, 
managing your caloric intake, reducing stress, getting enough sleep, maintaining your electrolytes, and making strategic adjustments, you can overcome your plateau and continue making progress. I encourage you to try the tips mentioned in this video and see how they work for you. Don't forget to subscribe for more keto success hacks and stay tuned for more valuable insights. Your journey doesn't end here, it's just beginning. Progress is possible with small, consistent tweaks. Keep pushing forward, stay committed, and celebrate every milestone along the way. You've got this, and I'm here to support you every step of the way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.